Hello everyone, welcome to Vasomeritech EECP Treatment Center. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about elderly population and cardiovascular disease. So if you have anybody who are aged more than 75 years and they have a heart attack, so what would be the next option? Should we undergo for a bypass surgery or angioplasty or because they are elderly, it is better to avoid bypass or angioplasty? This is a most confusing issue because it also put lot of emotion into most of the patient or their uh, relatives, son or daughters. We have lot of patient who comes with a consultation asking uh, that the parents is around 75 plus years, they already had a heart attack, they got admitted in the hospital, now they are stabilized and they are discharged. But before discharge, the hospital authorities, either it is a cardiologist or cardiothoracic surgeon, has clearly explained to them that the parents has to go for a bypass surgery or angioplasty at the earliest. And if they fail to do so, it could be disastrous because they may end up dead. Now this is an emotional issue which has to be needed to be addressed. Because the reason is, if you don't do the surgery and if the patient died during the course of time, it would be a lifelong guilt that you may have, you have not given enough care to the parents. Now this is what the question in cardiology for a long, long period of time. Because there are a lot of data on younger age group, but 75 years and older, there is no much data to advise a surgery or angioplasty in patient with heart attack. There are some trials which may show positive results and some trials may show negative results. So actually nobody knows whether the surgical procedures can be beneficial to the 75 years old. Because the main reason is, if you look at the cardiac risk factor, you can name many. You can talk about diabetes as a risk factor, hypertension, obesity, lack of exercise, smoking. So, so many cardiac risk factors are there. But of all of them, if there is one risk factor which you cannot change or modify is age. So, as you age, your risk of heart attack naturally increases. So, it is very difficult to determine whether if you do a surgical procedure that we may able to prevent the death and prolong the life. Because that is the main reason uh, you would undergo a bypass or angioplasty just to prevent death and prolong life. Now, this was recently answered and there was a paper which is published in the New England Journal of Medicine and this trial is called Senior Rita. So, patient with a heart attack in an elderly age group after the heart attack would bypass surgery and angioplasty is really beneficial. So what they did is this trial consists of 1500 patients. They categorized them into two groups. So the first group they would undergo a bypass or angioplasty and the second group will never will not go for angioplasty or bypass surgery but they went for a conservative management. It sends uh, lifestyle changes, medications and everything. Now the intention is to follow them for four years and to see whether the group which have undergone a bypass surgery and angioplasty live longer and have a fewer heart attack. So the result shows both the group when they followed up to four years. So you should understand because they are elderly group so definitely there would be a higher rate of death than heart attack. So overall in a patient who undergone invasive procedure like bypass and angioplasty almost 42.4 percent of them are dead or had a heart attack. And in the other group, the conservative management who did not go for a bypass and angioplasty, there also the risk is around 42% of the patient had a heart attack or death. So what we conclude from the trial is putting a patient or elderly patient after a heart attack to a bypass surgery or angioplasty did not yield any effect which will reduce their uh, incident of heart attack or death. So it did not prolong life. Now, what have you have to conclude is once you are 75 and plus, if you have a heart attack and if you are stable and get discharged, you need not have to go for a bypass surgery or angioplasty because these procedure when add over the medical management will not provide longevity or prevention of heart attack. So conservative management is far superior and in fact there are fewer incidents of complication because these people who undergo this high risk procedure when they are elderly also has a higher bleeding risk and higher risk of uh, transient ischemic attack or a kind of a stroke and also bleeding. 
so make sure if you are elderly you are okay with con continuing your conservative management and also having eecp as a one of the option to improve the blood flow would be a better management strategy than going for a surgical options